The world changed forever on January 4, 2010, when the world's first mega-tall structure, the Burj Khalifa, debuted. Everyone assumed at the time that this structure would be eclipsed in a few years by another even taller one, followed by another even bigger one, but after 12 years, no one came close to dethroning it as the world's highest skyscraper. In reality, Dubai's main rival, China, has reversed course and barred the development of megatall skyscrapers. But what exactly is going on? Is humanity's will to reach even higher into the sky suddenly fading? Is this the end of megatall skyscrapers? Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this, and be sure to watch this video till the end. Therefore, anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified so that you won't miss out on interesting videos from us. Let's get started. The race to see who can build the highest skyscraper in the world is a relatively new trend. For thousands of years, the Pyramid of Giza was the tallest skyscraper in the world. It remained in this position for 3,800 years with no competition. Then Europe became the leader in tall building construction, primarily cathedrals. However, as the 21st century began, the race shifted away from the West and towards Asia and the Middle East, and the scale of these structures has reached heights we could never have imagined. The Burj Khalifa has 23 times the number of floors as Philadelphia City Hall, demonstrating how far we've come. While the Burj Khalifa is still the world's tallest skyscraper, its reign as the world's only megatall building lasted only two years. A megatall building is at least 600 meters tall. In 2012, the Maka Royal Clock Tower in Saudi Arabia, which stood 601 meters tall, was finished. Shanghai Tower was built three years later. Merdeka PNB 118 has just joined the ranks of the megatall skyscrapers. But why do we construct such tall structures in the first place? Skyscrapers were first constructed for utilitarian purposes. The higher the building, the more possible employees or residents you can accommodate. Skyscrapers also help to prevent urban sprawl. A skyscraper can help to meet the demands for housing and business on a limited area of land, while also reducing the spread. However, there were also more cosmetic reasons for constructing larger structures. Skyscrapers were more about symbols and status. Having the world's largest skyscraper was more of a reflection of your country's affluence and position in the world than an attempt to meet any housing or office space demands. Despite having only one super tall building, China is home to the majority of the world's tallest structures. As of 2021, the People's Republic of China is home to 10 of the world's 20 tallest structures. One is in Hong Kong. China has constructed more skyscrapers in the last 30 years than New York did in the entire 20th century. However, the tide is turning in terms of large-scale construction. China made a complete 180-degree shift in 2021, prohibiting the construction of any new skyscrapers taller than 500 meters and placing limits on buildings larger than 250 meters. According to the declaration, bizarre architecture is not economically, functionally, aesthetically pleasant or environmentally friendly, shall be prohibited. But why the rapid change? There are several reasons for this. For starters, China became known for its strange architecture, particularly imitation buildings, such as reproductions of the Eiffel Tower or the White House. The Chinese government now prefers buildings that blend in with the city's architecture. The demand for real estate is likewise decreasing. According to Business Insider, China has enough vacant residential flats to house the entire population of France. However, one of the most pressing issues was health and safety. A fire broke out in a high-rise residential building in Shijiazhuang in March 2021, followed by another in a building in Dalian in August. In May, a 72-story building in Shenzhen began shaking violently and had to be evacuated. So now that China is out, who's left in the game? The Burj Khalifa's main rival for the title of the world's tallest structure is Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Tower. A finished this would be the world's first one kilometer tall building. However, construction of the structure has ceased since January 2018, when one of its primary backers was detained as part of a political crackdown. The Saudi government is the only one who knows what will happen to this initiative in the future. The COVID-19 epidemic has also made it difficult to make money from skyscrapers. As you might expect, the COVID-19 epidemic has decreased demand for office space because remote working is becoming increasingly widespread. 
the market for commercial real estate has slowed, it's also resulted in a global recession, which means that there is less money available to fund these projects. Another major consideration is the influence of megatall buildings on their surroundings. Sure, the view from a super tall building is spectacular, but what about the structures next to it? These extremely tall skyscrapers frequently block out sunlight for buildings and do not blend in with the city's overall aesthetics. Would you also prefer to work in an office directly next to a 10-year-old construction site? Another more important concern is that the process of building a skyscraper is ultimately harmful to the environment. As a result, it appears that the trend of building higher and higher may come to a halt. Proposals for new megatall skyscrapers are being abandoned left and right, and governments such as China are outright prohibiting them. Could the Burj Khalifa remain the tallest building that humanity has ever built? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on another wonderful video from us.